things. Okay, this is a technical thing, but yes, um, you cannot. Uh, Mike, I'm curious. So, so uh -huh. uh, explain, explain. This is a technical issue with Peacock. I don't yeah. want to start with a complaint, but and it was something that we were told was going to be fixed. Oh, oh maybe it'll get my. fixed by Saturday and Sunday, huh? Probably not. It should be <laughs> fixed by tomorrow when Takeover's on. You huh? know, Ooh. well, you can always watch it on your DVR on USA. So. Uh, Only the first night. The second night is Peacock exclusive. Yeah, that is true. That is true. So I'm curious. Okay, so so what was the problem? We haven't stated what is the problem. The problem is if you join, like, let's say you're joining 10 minutes late because you're picking up a pizza or whatever. Yeah. You, you've missed the 10 minutes. Okay. You cannot start the program from the beginning. Okay. You cannot rewind. Mm-hmm. You cannot do any of that stuff. Let's say in the middle of your five-hour watching of WrestleMania, you just might have to evacuate your bowels. <laughs> you can't pause the show. Oh, no. Yeah. You got to really time that shit out. So, and, there, and I'm sorry. There's no Undertaker entrance. <laughs> so I'm going to point out for a comment. Now, wait a minute. Hall of Fame 2020. What am I watching right now? It's 2020 and 2021. Okay, so I am on April 6, 2021. What am I looking at? Play live, play from the beginning. Okay, um, if you go, uh, there's a video that dropped this afternoon about um, you can watch WWE Network from, like, say, the United Kingdom if you'd like. If you if you miss the the uh, if you miss you know that situation, um, I'm trying to determine what I'm looking at because unfortunately, this doesn't look like the same hall of fame that we were watching <laughs> so but there is playing <sighs> live a problems. hall of fame no, always problems with the cock um well, right now on peacock it's showing an ad for wrestlemania right 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 i don't think uh so uh, also i think the hall of fame comes on later because of the time zones perhaps yes, probably so uh so uh, well either way so we so you can so you can watch your hall of fame but you have to be in the right time zone so if you want to watch yeah. the hall of fame it's gonna be at like three in the morning yeah um according to this um according to this based on i think this is still based on my time zone but uh, okay so i am i was i put a video today uh, up today where you can use a vpn and and create an account i now i am now in possession of a subscription to the wwe network in the united kingdom okay all right so um and and based on that i can start watching the hall of fame at 9 30 p.m eastern standard time according to this uh so does not and this is and i do qualify on that if you're watching a live programming i do recommend like wrestlemania you watch on peacock um like five bucks you know sure if you're if you're dropping like the 25 dollars to do what i'm doing that's how much it costs. Twenty five bucks. When you get it past the express the the VPN and everything. And there's some free ones and I can't guarantee they're gonna work. But um but yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend doing the live um um events through this necessarily. Obviously the time zones, you wouldn't be watching this program at the same time you are in America. Um they're watching uh Which is weird because you would be. Right. Because like if you're in the UK right now, you can watch the whole thing so no no I, i'm confused because i'm pulling this up okay this is live for some reason i can go back but i end up on i think i'm going back too far and i'm, I'm getting on a hall of fame from la from the year before yeah okay i see what's happening now i pulled back five hours on the live stream mm -hmm. that's how good yeah. it works versus peacock so well, technically well also, on the um, the forum versions of the WWE Network, mm -hmm. there's actually just a live feed of stuff going. Wait, just like that, there was here? Yeah. The, yeah. Yeah, and that's what I'm looking like there at. There was, and they took it off. They took it off the U.S. feed. The, yeah, because, well, you have something like that on Peacock. It's a channel, but it really no, just... No, it's it's sort of... Sort, sort. It's, it's more... It's not No, like no, no. That. It's more a it, it's more a, another listing of on-demand content with times next to them for no reason at all. Because if you click on it, you don't drop in the middle of the program, you're at the beginning of it. And I just want to drop in the middle of a program just like, you know, just like I'm flipping through channels, right? And that's not actually what happens. It's not like Pluto TV. And that bothers me. Um, <laughs> so, but in the meantime, you know, hey, what's something that I can't watch here? Uh, but no, yeah, so, so for journalistic purposes, I have access to everything WWE Network for right. the time being until Peacock gets up to snuff here. 
So if there's anything where we're like, hey, do we want to see when, um, um, you know, Zeke Mercer was on that uh, dark match, you know, <laughs> when he was eight years old, oh, uh, we can pull, we can search for Zeke Mercer that was completely on Raw or something. I, or Ray Lynn or Britt Baker or, or um, I'm trying to think of anybody else. Uh, um, Bill Collier? Bill, it was Bill, Coll- Bill Collier had to have done some stuff, right? From what? Uh, uh, Colin Delaney uh, or, 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 or yeah, Badger. Sort of, yeah, I mean, that was always a cool, well, uh, I don't think Badger's listed for her part. Because she was kind of more background. <laughs> What's that? Not yet. Not yet. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, but no, it, it's it, it's a cool thing to to be able to do, and uh, and and uh, I will say it is not illegal, but it is very definitely almost certainly against terms of service. But that's okay. It's not like they can cancel your American account. So. So I mean, it's not like Netflix could cancel your account in America because you were using the Canada feed, right? So, but uh, yeah, so it, it's com- so if you tie if if you're if you're not down on the cock, this is what you can do, <laughs> and you're just gonna have to take it international. If the cock doesn't sit right for you, that's right, <laughs> that's right, and and that's the case. And I am really curious to see what happens across like things like WrestleMania, uh, and this this is and Mike, you're right. This is an issue because about this time of the year, typically I would be in a hotel room somewhere, mm-hmm. and I would and because of time zones, I wouldn't be done with my work day. Until after WrestleMania started, and I would often watch it on delay, the so time. I don't miss anything. No, this isn't. And, you were right. And they this don't is even a have the latest episode of Two Hundred Five Live up because yeah. I remember you mentioning that. Now and I just checked; it's still still not, not up. up on Tuesday. Friday's episode is still not up, and now you cannot watch Two Hundred Five Live. I'm sorry. It looks like it looks like Two Hundred Five is almost a month behind. The last one it, uh, that's on here wow. is from March. Is from March twelfth. Yeah. Uh, I saw March 19th, I thought, when I looked. So um, that one's gone. Be, it's so, gone. So but, are you saying the cock is not up to date? No, it's not. No, no. Oh, it, they, they, they did not upload the cock right. Yeah. Um, but I will say, if you look at the live um, listings, on, or the upcoming listings, they do list this this Friday's 205 Live. So there may be a yeah, gap but in there. But from what it looks like, and and I, I'm going to be checking during the week, because mm-hmm. when I put on Raw Talk, I saw it was on a replay, and it said available for three more days. What? That's not good. What is that? That's not why would good. You, why would that's you... what that is. That's not good. Why would you time window? It's a wrong and I, I like think that. that's what happened with 205. Yeah. That's weird. And then things like the press conference from earlier today, 10 hours ago, was on in a replay feed under recently added. You know, things like that. I got a replay of Raw Talk. Now I'm pulling that up. Yeah, I'm seeing three days left on that. That's yep. wild. That's not good. So that because because they're treating it like like Hulu, like new episodes of a TV show. Right. And that's not what the WWE Network is for. No. And to be clear, are we saying the WWE Network on Peacock? Is that is that what they're saying? Are they just saying yeah. WWE is exclusive to Peacock? Uh, WWE. I think they're saying WWE Network on Peacock. I'm curious now because if they're they, like, I I feel like as a as a brand, the WWE Network does not exist as a function. It, no, um, I don't think and, so. And and even even if you go to you know, it says now it says on their page WWE Network has moved to Peacock, okay, um, but, but again really the branding is WWE. You go to Peacock, I don't okay. It's so the WWE Network is here, so that is that is part of the. Yeah. That is part of the word branding, but it, I, I have a feeling that idea of the words WWE Network are going to fade away here. I think it's just making it a common oh. connection based for on now. P- yeah, just yeah, for social, now. Yeah, we're so it, It's bridging over, and I, I bet you by SummerSlam, you never hear. It's going to be like by July. You never hear WWE Network spoken in the in, a, in reference not the, to America. No, it's not the no network. but Sorg, that, that's the thing. You have to still say it because overseas people. Still watch Raw and still watch SmackDown. Right. Um, you have to still say it. You are correct, but in the in the lead up that we've been watching so far, they have been saying WrestleMania exclusively on Peacock, and they have not said anything else on the shows that we watch. Now, when they do that, I do wonder: is there there's pr- there's probably extra commercials around the show? There may be a layover. By the way, you're in the UK. That means you can still use WWE Network. Don't ex- ignore this Peacock stuff. This happens all the time. There, there are, there, there are, you know, there are places that do not have WWE Network but can get WrestleMania. For instance, right? right. There are certain things that can get. Let me see if that thing was announced, because I realized I might have said something. I almost said something that could have been embargoed. 
Uh, <laughs> so it happens. I've it had happens. some interesting conversations this week. Hey, uh, this is why I don't want anybody to tell me anything secret because I will just come out like I will not sign an embargo. I will not do. Um, WrestleMania 36 is available on Fight. Huh. For foreign markets, I believe exclusively. Gotcha. Because again, yeah. not everybody is maybe not accessible because I think like Canada, you have to get it through Rogers as as it as an add on channel or something like that, their cable network up there. So so maybe it's not as accessible. But yeah, it is definitely um, you know, on fight Okay. As part of that. Oh no, this is last year's. This is last year's that's listed. But you see there but there is a history of doing this, so that is I can, I can, it's more than likely they're going to do that again this year, obviously. But um, I mean, yeah, that, once they're getting out to people, I mean, let's, mm-hmm. people have a chance to watch it. And have to right, watch right, part. right. Uh, unfortunately, um, I, I just think it's a big, a big step back. I feel like we're talking about the technology that more than we are WrestleMania itself. But uh, because it's uh, that's because very, we want to be able to watch it. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. With it's no functionality. Yeah, right? if everyone said that, like there was a concert, it was the greatest concert ever. Everyone should have been there, but there's yeah. no way to watch it. This is <laughs> as big of a deal. This really is as big of a deal for the American audiences as it was seven years ago when the first WrestleMania came on uh, WB Network as a right. thing. Because this changed the way that we watched it, for better yeah. or for worse. And and right now, and and Mike, I, I and you're talking about a specific use case. And I would imagine, you know, I just want to say, there's some people are like, why are we complaining about this one so much? This is a very specific use case that we can see. But I feel like the majority of people are going to hit play at the beginning of the show and just sit there, right? Like, I this... don't know if that's true. I, I... No, but, Sorg, you have to think. These are long shows. Yes, these are very if long shows. If you have children and you need to put them to bed, you can't pause that show. Yeah, yeah. It's like, just, yeah. people are going to be irritated at that. Yeah, and especially if they were used to do it and had that functionality a month ago for Fastlane. Yeah, like, like so. when, like... But everybody... When you move, when you move, like, like when you make a change, yes, you should only be enhancing. Yes. The second you detract from something, it's immediately going to cause a yeah, problem. yeah. This is this is a, this is a step backwards move. This is obvious that they made the the, the the they made this deal before the technology, before the, all the considerations, and before the audience. They this is a this is not an audience friendly. This is not your all your already established audience friendly move. Right. The cost is, but you know you're di- you're you're pissing off your diehards, and you're pissing off the casuals. Too. You know? you're pissing off the casuals because yeah. like mm-hmm. it, if I if I'm just a random person who is popping you're just on, a, popping a, popping on Peacock yeah. at like nine o'clock on Saturday. All right. WrestleMania is on. I'm like, oh cool, let me watch that. And you're halfway in the middle of like Seth Rollins versus Cesaro, and you're like, "Oh well, I don't know what this is." Then you're going to click off, right? Right. And, and I gotta say, uh, I also gotta say, the question that Mark is going to be, and this is something I'm hoping we find out over the next couple of days, because this is the first live content that's come up. Is, it was, I think, today. Um, how quick are those replays available after the show has ended? Right. For live content, and I don't no other than like the live stream that was always there um if the live stream is inaccessible after the show has ended or you're re- rewinding in it then what do you do when it's you know uh yep. 10 50 wrestlemania has ended and you want to go back and catch those first couple matches but you can't because it's not up yet yeah but you, yeah if there's like a delay in that like people are gonna be like what the fuck but my question is i feel like as wrestling friends like i don't think there's a lot of us who had peacock before this so there's no, no reason so no. like are we it's brand did new you, did you have it before um uh, so the move so i had a free version yeah I yeah a, a lot version. of people have the free version a lot so. of no, no, no a lot of people